We're finally getting new episodes. The drought lander is almost over, yeah. which is my favorite term of all time for a show being unjustly unheld, uh, held away from the fans. What are you most excited about for these new episodes that are coming? Yeah, I think we we pretty much set up you know the story, set up the relationships in the first part of the season, and there's a momentum is building. And I think really the second part is uh, a lot stronger. There's, it's a lot more intense. It's a lot darker. The relationships are tested a lot, Jamie and Claire's relationship, but also uh, you know the relationships within the castle and within Scotland and. Um, it really, you know, uh, sort of climaxes towards the end of the season with some pretty sort of strong, intense episodes. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited about it. The romance on this show, I, I think it's one of my favorite romances that we've ever seen on television. I mean, the writing is so beautiful. The acting... Yeah. It's better after two of these. It's okay. I mean, it's nothing to... You and Kat are amazing. You have amazing chemistry. But what do you think it is about Jamie and Claire? that the fans have responded to so much, even people who haven't you know, read the books who are just watching the show, what do you think it is about them together that is sort of so intoxicating? Yeah, I think um, it's, a, it's a new relationship, um, but it kind of comes out of a strange place that, you know, he, um, he's a virgin, he's, he's obviously got experience with women, but it's, you know, not like her. She's coming from this very strange place that she's, uh, she's married in the future. She, um, She's in love with Frank, and yeah. she's met this other person that's brought something completely different to her life. And uh, I think it's the journey that, that they go on, these two characters going together, that you know, the viewers are there with us experiencing it as, 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 as those two characters are. And they're, they're constantly learning about each other, and, and their marriage is developing. And we see in this first episode back that he obviously has very different beliefs than she does, because he's living in the 18th century, she's from the 20th century. Um, and without giving anything away to the fans, you know, we do see him start to sort of change his idea of the world and how you should be treating women and sort of how that dynamic is. I feel like that's a really profound statement on just like what love can do, you know, that yeah. he's willing to see things more the way that she does. What do you think yeah, about that? I think that's a really interesting thing that he, um, you know, every person goes through their life and at some point you have to make decisions about, you know, what you want to do with your life and, you know, yeah who you want to be and I think he's at that very interesting point where he meets this person up until he meets Clara he's had no responsibility he's run away from a lot of the relationships of his past he's he feels guilt about what's happened to his sister and his father so he's forced to to address those and and he basically grows as a, as a human being through her through right. through the, the lessons that she teaches and likewise she learns as well and and I think it's like a modern marriage, really, their relationship. It, it's always developing uh, and sort of moving forward. We played a drinking game last time I saw you called Nair Have I Air, right? Yes. And yes. you and Kat both drank uh, at I've Never uh, Giggled During a Sex Scene. Uh huh. What is it actually like doing those scenes? Because I think it's sort of fascinating for people at home to sort of know, I mean, is it awkward? Is, it, is there a lot of humor between takes? I mean, how. What can you tell us about that? Uh, safe by the bell. <laughs> Are you calling that phone right yeah. now? <laughs> That's Kat right now. Yeah, she's <laughs> don't answer. Yeah, don't tell. <laughs> so what can you tell us? I, I don't want to ask anything uncomfortable, but what can you tell us about doing those love scenes? Because this is really kind of the first show that you've done those types of scenes, correct? Um, Kind of, yes, kind of? yes, okay. yes. I have done, I have done sort of intimate scenes before yeah. on stage, uh, primarily, and a little bit on camera. But this right. is definitely the most intimate I've done it, uh, and it's um, it's it's a sort of a mix of it's weird because something so intimate and so precious, um, there's you know a lot of crew watching you. Like right. we counted, even though it's a close set, we counted, and there was 18 crew members all watching us, um, you know, uh, experiencing this this love for the first time, and. Uh, right. Yeah, it's, it is interesting. We work very hard on it. We work together with the writers and the directors about what we want the audience to see or feel and, and where we want the relationship to go. And very much the wedding episode is about their relationship, discovering each other, and, and then subsequently any other intimate scenes are about moving forward in a relationship. And um, it, it, I don't know, it's, it's a very odd thing to do. And, right. and whiskey certainly helps uh, yeah. occasionally. I really didn't want to sound nosy, but I do think it's interesting for people at home because 
it's obviously a very specific and different experience than most people have had. If you're not an actor and you've never done that type of thing, you know, I think for people at home watching, it's just, um, and, and they're so well done. It seems like there's a lot of choreography <laughs> involved as well, it, right? It's, it, yeah. it's uh, scarily very technical. Yeah. Um, we do rehearse those scenes and we go, okay, I'm going to do this, because you kind of have to warn that person what you're going to do. And, right. Um, place my hands or whatever and right. but also um, then it can't just be technical you know you have to be quite open as an actor and you know really live it and feel it and and, and that can be uh, quite scary yeah. um, but ultimately we trust each other and uh, we trust our crew and the, and the director and, and I think it you know with the right level of concentration and, and uh, care I think it you know it really works. How would you describe your and Kat's relationship behind the scenes? It seems like you guys laugh a lot. Terrible. Yeah? Yeah. Ter oh, terrible. Like, Thankfully, you're finally like giving a, us a real like a answer. Real marriage, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's the ball and chain. No, she's fantastic. You know, yeah. she's really cool. And yeah. uh, we have a lot of fun. I really trust her. She's uh, an incredible actress. She's a very warm personality. She's always upbeat. Uh, I can I can tell if she's not happy. There's I can just feel it. But she's um you know I think everyone loves her and. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, I'm just very, very lucky that you know, we have this great relationship. Now, we know there's going to be another season. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Probably m multiple more seasons, I'm thinking. Oh, I hope so, yeah. Yes. Um, and we know in season two, you're going to need to learn some French. Have you started learning that French? Um, petit peu. <laughs> could, you, could, I, could, I, could I give you just one phrase here that uh -oh, I... Uh-oh, oh, God. <coughs> I just wanted I to help you with your French, French here, but I have no a... vested interest in this. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have a drink while you do this. Okay. Yeah. Vous êtes le plus bel fil du monde. Uh -huh. You can read that right there. Uh, I think I might need a bit more whiskey before I do this. Vous êtes le plus bel fil du monde. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice. And, and this one right here. Vous êtes. Wait a minute. You I don't know, know what that know, means, I do you? I know what that means. Yeah, <laughs> you won't catch me out. I was trying to have you say, you are the most beautiful woman in the world. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, we just... That's saved for, for Claire, isn't it? That's saved for... And she actually asked me to record these for oh, her. she did? And this one is, you are my home. Yeah. Which is... Uh, well, you might... Wait, is that the line? No, you are my new... You yeah, are my, my home now. You are my home now, yeah. Uh, which is fantastic, right? Yeah, I mean, they all, all these uh, phrases come from Diana's books. Right. And it's fantastic that, you know, we managed to get them in there. And I, I think it's really important that we, you know filter the, the show with these, these bits from the books. Right. Are you excited for season two? I'm very excited. Okay. Yeah, I really am. Um, you know, the, the hiatus was great to sort of get away and, and decompress, so, right. so to speak, but um, just the, the fact to go back, see the, new fa see the family, see the new characters. I know people are up for these parts. I know some people in cast. It's, it's going to be a really exciting season. Right. Um, and can I just ask you about sort of, you know, being a part of the show that has such a dynamic fan following? Mm. What has that meant to you? And did you, you know, I know you knew going into it that there were fans of the books, but yeah. the response to it has been so passionate and so warm. And these fans will like, it seems like they would do anything, you know, yeah. to sort of um, show their love for you guys and the show. Um, and they seem to be channeling it in really positive ways, which is really cool. I don't yeah. see a lot of, you know, sometimes fans get like, they attack fans of other shows and that type of thing. They seem like really good, kind-hearted people. Have you noticed that? Yeah, I think we've got yeah. the best fans. They really are. They're yeah. terrific. They've been very supportive of our charities, of us, um, of, of everything we've been doing. And you know, I know that if we don't do a good job, they would certainly let us know. They're very yeah. vocal. Um, but yeah, no, they've been terrific. We all have our own charities. I just did my peak challenge, which is a sort of fitness event that I started uh, last month, and um, we raised over. Fifty thousand pounds for for charity, and uh, they're just wonderful. Yeah, they, they support us a lot. You just ran the marathon. I did. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, and have you always been really fitness minded, or is it sort of by proxy? You know, in this show, yeah. sometimes you are scantily clad. Excuse you need me. to make sure you're sort of maintaining. Uh, uh, yeah. But is that part of your interest in sort of like making sure that you are as fit as you can be? Uh, I guess I've always been into it. Uh, it's part of being an actor, I, yeah. I think. And I, before Outlander, I used to run a lot of uh, marathons, a lot of, uh, for a uh, uh, celebrity team for Leukemia Lymphoma Research. Mm -hmm. um, and then having done Outlander, actually, I haven't run at all. Mm -hmm. So it was only about six weeks ago that I decided to run the LA Marathon. And it was actually with Katrina and her sister. Her sister is uh, a big triathlete and sort oh, of inspired cool. me. And I just thought, yeah, I, I want to do this. So it was, it was a challenge for me because I hadn't run for a long time. And 
the heat here in Los Angeles is something I'm not used to.